welcome back to part two of my message today I'm talking about pathway to a beautiful and virtuous woman amen there's a technique and a skill to obtain a God sin woman amen it's, she don't come from just off the rack no 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 she's peculiar amen so you yourself you have to be as a brother and peculiar and special and unique to attract this woman because you are what you attract amen I left off talking about uh, you have to have good hygiene your, your teeth has have to be together nice and white amen if you're gonna wear cologne my brethren don't wear the cheap stuff that's a turn off amen you don't want to be smelling like a prison sissy huh no 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 but you want to, to smell good to entice her and arouse her and just have her enjoying your fragrance amen and I'm reminded in the Bible in the book of Exodus I believe it's Exodus Amen. In the 30th chapter of Exodus, the 34th verse through the 38th verse. And the Lord told Moses to gather smitenard, spices, frankincense, and mix them all together and make this special perfume for him. And he told Lord when he told Moses, when you come into the temple or the tabernacle to put on this fragrance. Now, if, if you know if God wanted Moses to smell good with perfume and cologne down, that a virtuous woman wants you smelling good and wearing the good stuff, huh? And the Lord told Moses that if anybody should copy the ingredients or remake this perfume will be cut off or be put to death. It was a special cologne made by Moses for him to wear unto the Lord when he went to minister in the tabernacle. My God, no cheap stuff. Mm -mm. So once again, brother, you got to smell good. Amen. Cheap cologne is a turnoff to, to a beautiful, virtuous woman. Everything must be beautiful to her. Brethren, you have to be neat and clean. Yourself, your car, your dwelling, and your fingernails. Hmm? A good woman looks at all that. And I can't understand. I can't understand how a man with long fingernails can be a lover to a virtuous woman. Long, dirty fingernails. I can't figure that one out. No. A man, country-wise, will turn off a beautiful woman. Some women don't care. They just want a man. A man come as you are and she will clean you up mm -hmm. and clean up behind you pick up your underwear off the floor and your socks and all your dirty clothes amen as long as she got a man that's not a virtuous woman no 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 a virtuous woman will not settle for less amen you can work construction uh, be a garbage man or uh, uh, whatever but you also can clean yourself up amen so you must make her feel secure and protected amen that is to be able to defend her from any threat if you are married to a virtuous woman before going to bed, the man must check all the doors and windows. He must sometimes, through the night, get up and walk through the house. 
sometimes going outside, checking around the house. This makes the virtuous woman feel secure in her castle, protected by her king. Preach, Robert Hill. You must be the leader. You must have a good sense of directions. You can't make your woman to feel insecure, unsafe, and lost. Amen. Some men are driving. Amen. And the ego tripping. And they don't want their woman to know that they are lost and they'll go 50 miles out of the way before turning around. No. She loves a man with a sense of direction. Uh, enough sense to get out and ask somebody for the correct direction because if you can lead her a man to New York City by way of a map she knows that you can lead her to the Lord by way of the Bible am I right amen so at all times you must open all doors and at all times you must assist her with a coat. You must never, never, ever hit a virtuous woman. Uh, continue to yell at her. Maybe she wants to release some steam and hit you. So what? You are not supposed to strike her back and cause her to be struck down to the ground with your fist. God forbid. A saved good man will never hit a woman regardless. You can't be argumental. That's a turn off because she is looking for the fruit of the spirit which is peace. And she, you must make her laugh and feel like she is full of joy. You don't have to pursue her for sex because of your gentle treatment and cares and concerns. She will open up unto you like a flower one day. You must keep money in your pocket and ma maintain a good job. A virtuous woman will be a help me unto a good man. You must call her every day, three times a day. You must make her feel that you long for her company and that she is the only one. You must make her feel that you don't have to go out with the boys, but she is your best friend that you can confide in and trust. Huh? Once again, leave sex alone. In due time, she will mount you and smother you with her love. The man that finds a wife finds a good thing. Brothers, you first have to take pride in yourself if you want a beautiful and virtuous woman. You must look and be the part. If there is a certain type of job you want, you must first dress the part. If you want to be a limousine driver, on your interview date, you must wear a black or dark blue suit and tie. If you wear khakis and a blue jean shirt, you can forget about it. So I'm saying all I'm saying is this: if you want an upright woman, you have to be an upright man. You must fit the part. First, once again, having the spirit of Christ and the evidence of being a redeemed man. Amen. Hope you enjoyed that message. Amen. That's the pathway to a beautiful.